Hey guys, how are you doing? I was uh, thinking about um, the way people are like so many times are trying to find the right concepts and to to explain and to to use for that um, very important cause of of illuminating the eyes of others. And many times we're trying to present things in a light that will be very, very clear and very, very simple for everyone to understand what what are we talking about. And like today I was thinking about it. We say all the time, you should believe in yourself. You should believe in the truth that you have inside of yourself. Like you need to find the truth within. And I realized that all those concepts even though that they are the most simple ideas of them all like what are we talking about we're talking about simple things we need to open them up and to break them down even more for an example when you want to say believe in the truth that you have inside so like what does it mean like it sounds so like not 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 grounded and not not stable and does not have no roots like believe in the truth you have inside what's that which truth like so the thing is that we need to understand that for an example if now i ask you if you live close by or if i ask you if i can come to your house for lunch or if i ask you if you want to come to my house for lunch so you know the truth about that question. You know the true answer of that question. If you live close by, if you want to help, if you're able to, if you're not, you know the truth. So you should connect and believe in that truth that you have inside of yourself. That is the truth that you need to connect to, to be truthful. Like if something is going on in your life, if let's say a person is rebuking you or someone tells you something, you have a certain feeling about that thing and if the feeling that you have using your senses using your mind feeling with your heart is telling you that that thing is a thing of truth that that thing represents the truth that that thing says the truth so then you should follow it that is what it, we mean when we say you should find the truth within that you believe you should believe in the truth that you have inside of yourself that you will listen to your inner voice to the voice that is talking to you from within means the voice of your thoughts and when it is simply presenting the truth when you say to yourself yes she's right like i was wrong or that you say to yourself no, that person is like totally wrong. That was not my intention at all. You should believe to that voice inside of yourself. That is a truthful voice. That is the voice of truth that we're talking about. That is calling and waking us up from within. To believe in ourselves, it's to check, clarify with ourselves if we were truthful or not. If we are truthful, loyal honest or not and if we find ourselves like that positive and right and righteous then we need to count on that voice and to follow that light with no end but when we find ourselves that we're just claiming and assuming certain things without really have foundations for that assumption and just saying, oh no, but it's written here, no, I heard it's written over there. But really, you, between you to yourself, you know that you don't have a clue what you're talking about. So don't count on that. Don't present that. That is not the truth. Because for you, it's still not the truth. It might be true, but you don't hold that level. So don't present it as your truth. Just connect yourself to the truth that is shining from within. Say something more simple. Explain your true self. And by that we will connect ourselves to the Creator. Because our God is the God of truth. Means that everything that He's doing, He's doing with truth. Hashem Elohim Emet. And just by connecting ourselves to the truth of His creation. By that we're connecting ourselves to Him. That His seal is the seal of truth. 
and that all of his actions are acts of truth and by connecting ourselves to the truth we're connecting ourselves to him but by separating ourselves from the truth even by covering ourselves with the most beautiful and 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 and, and colorful lie we're separating ourselves from him and we don't want that because by connecting ourselves to the lie we are separating ourselves from the heaven uh, heavenly kingship of the creator and we're falling pushing dropping ourselves into the world of lie alma de shika it's such a beautiful thing the world of lie even though that is the word word of lie been created by the creator Therefore, even though that he is the world of lie, world of illusions, he is always reflecting the truth. In every situation that you look out to this world, this world, even though that it is just a plaster, it's just a, a screen, it's just a, 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 a separation, a separating wall between you to the truth, it's still representing the truth in all its glory and beauty. So we should aim our eyes with a pure heart, with, with a wishing soul to desire to know the real truth and to look and observe on every situation in our lives and to try to track down the truth, to connect ourselves through our senses to what we feel that is right and honest to do. And while doing that, we're straightening our hearts and we are reconnecting ourselves to the creator because the creator is close to everyone who calls him with truth and the person that is lying cannot stand close to Hashem so for sure that a person can just reject himself from the heavenly blessing of the creator by just attaching himself to his lies to his scams to his filthy ideas may the creator bless his people with peace and who are his people those ones who desire to serve him with truth that are connecting themselves to him with truth thank you bless you bless us all as one amen